Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently a very clean and most accurate picture of wind tunnel model of AMCA was shared by Prashant Bhadoria who is Deputy General Manager Design at HAL. The wind tunnel model of AMCA is undergoing testing at Calspan Corporation's Transonic Wind Tunnel, the largest independently owned wind tunnel in the USA. The company has 14 wind tunnels which includes transonic, supersonic and hypersonic wind tunnels. Now, the wind tunnels are the crucial part of an aircraft development. Under this process, the model of an aircraft is subjected to a simulated flight by shooting high-speed winds at the aircraft frame and making it virtually fly even though it is stationary. The data gathered from the wind tunnel tests help engineers and designers to assess the stress on the aircraft which it can withstand and the aircraft design can be further refined. However, the question is why MCAS model has to be tested at CalSpan? Is India not having a wind tunnel test facility? The answer is yes and no. India does have a trisonic wind tunnel at National Aerospace Laboratory NAL Bengaluru. But this facility is now 50 years old and has capacity of just 1500 blowdowns or the high speed shooting while the requirement of ADA is close to 11,000 a year. In absence of meeting such a high demand, ADA and HL are forced to go abroad to have aircraft tested. This is not only an expensive endeavor but also brings in delay in the development process. Further, this will also give US fair amount of idea about India's fifth generation fighter design. This is one of the reasons why India needs to invest heavily in wind tunnel infrastructure if it has to speed up the development process of aircrafts, be it fighter or transport jets, missiles and rockets. Now let's shift our discussion from the wind tunnel testing to the design of AMCA because that is what we want to discuss in today's video. At first, we'll talk about the IRST which could be seen placed above the nose cone just before the windscreen. Earlier, it was expected that AMCA may feature EOTS like F-35. But before we discuss further, it's better to have understanding and we must know about three systems which is IRST, targeting pod and EOTS. An IRST makes use of imaging infrared sensor to track targets in double or triple digits. It can detect and track objects which could be a fighter jet with the help of its heat or infrared signature emitted in the form of infrared radiation. These are passive system unlike radar and can silently detect fighter jets without getting noticed. Talking about targeting pod, it is a target designation tools used by fighter jets to identify targets and guide the precision guided munition such as laser guided bombs to those targets. While IRST is meant for aerial targets, the targeting pod will be used to carry out ground attacks. EOTS or Electro Optical Targeting System is two in one system which has features of both IRST and a targeting pod. EOTS as seen in F-35 is a sapphire shaped object housed below the nose of the fighter jet which greatly improves the stealth and aerodynamics characteristic of the fighter. Now since we understand these three systems, it will be clear that AMCA Mark 1 will not feature an EOTS which will increase the frontal radar cross section and the drag of the fighter. Besides, it will have to carry a targeting pod for ground attack. The recent official rendering of AMCA also shows the laser designator pod on air intake pylon. While AMCA will be less stealthy than F-35, it will be clearly more stealthy than Chinese J-20 or South Korean KF-21 or Russian Su-57 even with IRST. Since India started late in the development of AMCA, the first few batches will have IRST and subsequent batches may feature EOTS. It's also important to remember that DRDO has already started the testing of EOTS this year from Hawker 800 aircraft. Now another most prominent feature visible in AMCA is its DSI intake with three dimensional bump. The major sources of radar cross section in an aircraft 
are its cavities such as air intake diverter passage weapons bay etc a divertless intake offers better aerodynamic performance at high speeds it also gets rid of diverter passage and the 3d bump ahead of the entry to the intake provides additional shielding to the incident radar waves thereby reducing radar cross section of the aircraft it also eliminates the need to have moving surfaces used for efficient compression at high supersonic speeds we can also see integrated in flight refueling probe now it's difficult to tell if ifr probe will be retractable one or fixed one just from the wind tunnel image of amca however based on my analysis it's going to be retractable one there are two reasons for it first if amca has fixed ifr probe the wind tunnel model would have featured the same but in the image we just see a circular opening for the ifr probe second the various images shared earlier by ado of amca does not show fixed ifr probe the aircraft will have internal weapons bay in mark 1 version itself it will have 14 hard points where it can carry 6500 kg of weapons payload in stealth mode amca will carry weapons on its internal weapons bay having total payload capacity of 1500 kg where it can carry four missiles this could be either combination of four medium to long range air to air missile or two medium range air to air missile along with 500 kg of smart bombs in non stealth mode the aircraft will carry 6500 kg of weapons including internal weapon bay and external pylons a 23 mm twin barrel cannon is also visible on the left side behind the cockpit this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector